Hey everyone, welcome to the Odyssey. I am Mike Odyssey. We got another great video for you today regarding Nintendo Switch 2 and the Nintendo Direct, right? We, I, have, I have a source that I want to go over. But before I get into that, look at this. Um, this is what I'm dealing with. Uh, I'm in, in the middle. I'm actually on that on that route of this hurricane that is coming towards me. It's it's category four. It's called Milton. He wants to come to Disney. I can't stop it. I just I, I really can't do much by it, but get ready for it and just kind of see if I can survive. I'll you know save at the other end. If you enjoy me just doing this video, still you know look at this look at this number here. I, I'm I'm trying to get to that you know round it up to the to the highest hundred. If you can help me do that, we're only thirty subscribers away. If you can thirty subscribers away, we can do that in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let's go ahead and talk about Nintendo Switch Two and the Nintendo Direct. You are awesome. All right, I'm here at MyNintendoNews.com. We're talking about a talking point from NintendoLife.com. Talking point. After a September no-show, will there be an October Nintendo Direct? I keep saying that, right? I've always brought that up. That, you know what? In September, no Direct. They're giving some space between the Indie World Showcase and the Partner Showcase and the Nintendo Direct. And I will give you my, my, my what I think this is at the end after I read this because you want to hear this. All right. So right here we are at MyNintendoNews.com. Let's go ahead and read. We're now in a full week into October following the first September since 2016 without a really big Nintendo Direct, right? It, it's, it's, it's the first one, my friends. If you are not aware... It's the first September that we go since the Nintendo Switch launched that we don't have a Direct. That's how important a Direct in September is because it tells us what's coming in the first half of next year, right? And so looking back at our Nintendo Direct broadcast history guide, it's all there in black and white, says NintendoNews.com. Well, red and well, red and white, <laughs> 2020 Direct might have been a Super Mario-focused job theme around the series' 35th anniversary, but the, the caveat aside, uh, 2016, the year before the Switch launch, was the last year there wasn't a full flagship Nintendo Direct in September. We are now in 2024. That's crazy. And even then, there was a half-hour 3DS-specific presentation. If you count that as a full Direct, uh, as a full fat direct 2015 was the last uh year we got through a uh, september with no big nintendo announcement okay so th that itself has to tell you something big is happening very soon to be fair august delivered a, a bumper crop this year with the nintendo museum getting its own presentation plus a double helping of Indie World Showcase and Partner Showcase arriving on the 27th of August. Combining the latter two into an Uber Showcase was a first for Nintendo, perhaps a ploy to deliver a large portion for fans to chew on and sustain them through September. I agree with that. And let's continue to read, which brings us to October, my birthday month. It's only a couple of days away. Actually, my birthday is only five days a week. Uh, five days away. I might do a stream. And so, uh, let's see here. A month which is traditionally fairly quiet. Nintendo announcements wise. At this stage, the manufacturing and retail chains will be in full swing and gearing up for the lucrative end of year period. You may recall that the, the Switch OLED launched alongside Metroid Dread back in October 2021. For example, at this point of the year, there uh, there's a much higher chance of leaks for products you're looking uh, to launch in time for the holidays. Mario and Luigi Brothership sets sail in exactly a month's time, and before then, we have Mario Party. Jamboree to attend. Will there be an October 2024 Nintendo Direct then? It's certainly possible, although with those two Mario releases, they're also just enough occurring in Nintendo's land for the company to, to coast a while longer on the announcement front. 
However, this is one massively significant announcement from the last decade that Nintendo made in October, the official reveal of the console formerly known as NX, the Nintendo Switch. Woo! So, my friends, um, the lack of a Nintendo September Direct, right? We had, a, we had a double whammy at the end of August, but no Direct in September for the first time since 2015. That is nuts, okay? That itself should give you a little bit of a, an idea of where we are, right? Where, what's happening? What's the atmosphere? What's, what, is, what, what does it smell like? And so now we are in October, the very same month Nintendo first revealed the Switch, um, a, a Nintendo Switch trailer back in 2016. We're here. This is October. It is October 7th after the recording of this video, as you're watching it, um, then it, it's, it, there's something in the air, my friends, right now, something in the air. Will this be the week we see a Nintendo Direct or the trailer or maybe both? What is stopping Nintendo from saying, you know what? Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow is, is uh, Monday. Uh, today's Monday. Tomorrow's Tuesday. And I'm, I'm guessing Wednesday. I'll put it for Wednesday. And so, I mean, not, th not Wednesday, but Thursday. Let's say Thursday. So let's say tomorrow is, uh, is Tuesday. On Wednesday, Nintendo says, um, yeah, during the hurricane I'm in, right? Nintendo says, hey, um, stay tuned tomorrow for a 40-minute presentation featuring games coming in the first half of 2025. And then, you know, that that little traditional, but do not expect us to talk about the successor uh, during this presentation. They don't say it. They stay quiet. They leave it at that. You know what? You know what? Nintendo has been laying the ground for that for us to kind of find out when they're going to announce it because since June, oh, before June, they've been saying, hey, we're having, we're having a presentation soon, but don't expect any Switch to talk. They've been saying for every single thing they have been announcing over the past couple of months, so much that it has become a meme. Like for the PlayStation um, 5, there was a comment, I think, by Nintendo, or was it a meme, that says, please do not expect to hear about Switch 2 during this presentation. It was it was, it was hilarious. But they have been setting the ground for that. If they don't say it during the potential upcoming Nintendo Direct, it could be this week, right? There's that rumor that Nintendo will reveal the system on August 10th, right? There's a rumor still. And maybe this, maybe it's coming. Maybe it's next week on the 20th. That's like they did for the first one. There's that that also, but there is no doubt that there is something happening soon. Now, here's why I think that September did not have anything at all. First, yeah, Nintendo has a plan to, to deliver the Switch 2, right? But I believe that Nintendo wanted to give some breathing room between the Indie World Showcase partner um, combo and the Nintendo Direct slash switch reveal because this nintendo direct and the nintendo switch 2 reveal is going to be big it's, I, I think it's going to be a massive direct where we will get amazing games so good that it will overshadow completely the partner showcase and indie world therefore really hurting the sales for that those announcements so Nintendo needed a space between that presentation and the next direct with part with uh with, with Switch to reveal, you know, so that it gives it enough time to these these uh little, little games that they were announced kind of to marinate, right? And and for you guys to kind of choose, oh, I want this game, this and that. But that is why I think there was there was a big gap between, you know, there was no Nintendo Direct in September. Now October is a different story. It's the last month I believe Nintendo can have any type of announcement or or uh, event regarding the the Nintendo Switch 2 or did or direct because I think once November is here, that's already holiday territory. That's that's uh, that's that's video game sales. That's console sales. That's a, another story, right? Nintendo just they like to rest through, during those months, right? And so with that, I want to know what you guys think below. Let me know. Uh, your thoughts do you feel like we're about to see something this week maybe this month will it be a nintendo direct what games do you think could be in the nintendo direct if we do get it and will the switch 2 be revealed at the direct or on its own completely
I want to know for you. Let me know below in the comments and I'll see. And I'll just go ahead and heart it as soon as I read it. All right, my friends. That's going to do it for this video. I'm going to go get ready for the hurricane. I'll see you in the next one. Before I let you go, never give up and journey on. Peace.